all, depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice the radio, and if you're thinking, hang on a second, did Wossy just finish casting the Pokemon World Championships, watch the closing ceremony, and then immediately run back to his hotel room to record a video about the gigantic reveals in the opening ceremony? Yes. Yes, he did. He's also now rushing a little bit because he's got a staff party to go to. But you know what's more important than the staff party? Telling you guys everything you need to know about the news in the Pokemon TCG, and it is big. Massive shout out to lovely Poker Guardian for getting these screenshot images, making my life easier. What's happening then? Well, we've got the debut of Ancient and future Pokemon. Of course, the other day I showed you that Paradox Rift was going to be the next Pokemon TCG set. The Elite Trainer Box image was put onto the official Pokemon Center over in Canada. And now we've got confirmation, not just that we've got this, but that we've got ancient and future Pokemon. As it stands at the moment, we don't actually know what the deal is here. We don't know what ancient and future Pokemon actually are and what they do, but it's very likely they are a subset of Pokemon like Single Strike, Rapid Strike, and Fusion Strike. So, for instance, if we have a look at Fusion Strike as a nice little example, we've got stuff like... Power Tablet, that means you do extra damage for your Fusion Strike Pokemon. And you've got stuff like Genesect, that draws cards dependent on how many Fusion Pokemon you've got in play. Just two examples, there are a bunch of others, but that is very likely to be what we're looking at here. No, this is not official, no, it is not confirmed. The only thing we know for certain is that we've got these categories of past and future Pokemon, but it is very, very likely that they are gonna function like Single Strike, Rapid Strike, and Fusion Strike. We'll have to hold on for official confirmation on that. So we have been shown a bunch of cards as well. Which cards have we been shown? Well, let's start off with the past. Let's start off with Screamtail. Now, Screamtail, look, we don't have perfect images. These are screenshotted off of the closing ceremony, so you'll have to forgive me. But Screamtail, we've got, well, it's an ancient Pokemon. And what we've got here is a basic Pokemon, expect them all to be basic, 90 HP, single energy 30, and two energy, Roaring Scream. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So best case scenario here, you've got eight damage counters on, you've not quite yet been KO'd, and then you do 160 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. That sounds pretty powerful. We've also got ourselves Brute Bonnet as an ancient Pokemon. 120 HP, once again, all basic. And it's got the ability Toxic Powder. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an ancient booster energy capsule attached, you may make both active Pokemon poisoned. The question you're going to have right now is the same one I've got. What is an ancient booster energy capsule? The answer is, uh -huh. it hasn't been shown off yet. But it's plainly going to be a tool card of some description, and when you have it attached, you can play with poison. We've then got free energy, 120 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. I don't think free energy, 120 on a basic is enough for this, but I really, really like the ability on Brute Bonnet. You know what else I like? This rather lovely Kamiya alternate art. I'm actually not the biggest fan of Kamiya personally, but I know a bunch of people are. This is confirming that there are going to be illustration rares moving forward, which was pretty much a given, but honestly, it's just cool that they showed it to us. Yes, it is exactly the same card, but it's a lovely alternate art, and that's kind of spiffing. Oh, and then obviously in terms of Ancient, we've got Roaring Moon EX. I love Roaring Moon EX. Look how cool the artwork is. Now, we got 320 HP, and we got free energy. Knock out your opponent's active Pokemon. If your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out in this way, this Pokemon deals 200 damage to itself. This is the part of the video where I remind you this is a Darkness Pokemon and Dark Patch exists in the format at the moment. Now, this is quite a bit to ask, I admit. But if you go second and hit double Dark Patch and an energy attachment for the turn, you can get 
any KO turn one going second. If your opponent passes with any Pokemon, no matter how beefy and powerful, but they've only got one out, Frenzied Gouging will get an instant KO. Yes, I know 200 South damage is a lot. I want to be 100% clear. This is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. We've seen how good Giratina V-Star has been lately. And one of the reasons Giratina V-Star is so good is it's got a V-Star power that can KO anything straight off the bat. Yes, this takes 200 damage. And obviously, if it then does it again, you KO yourself. But an instant KO on anything on a Pokemon that can use Dark Patch. Believe me when I tell you this is going to see some play. We then got free energy, 100 damage. You may discard a stadium in play. If you do, 120 more damage. 220 for free energy. Again, it's a basic. Again, you can use Dark Patch. This is borderline broken, this card. Like, this card is genuinely flat out full on ridiculous. This is a card which I expect to be very, very heavily played in the metagame. I think this is great. Looking more towards the future, we've got Iron Bundle. We got the ability Hyper Blower. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to your bench, or to the bench. Your opponent chooses a new active Pokemon. So you get to basically make your opponent switch their active. This is a very powerful ability. If you do this, discard this Pokemon and all attached cards. It's discarding, it's not a KO. You do not give up a prize for doing so. And yeah. Just sit on the bench and whenever you feel like it, just make sure your opponent has to change their active. This is a very powerful ability, especially because you can play it and then wait to use it later. We've then got free energy, refrigerated stream, 80 damage. If the defending Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Turning off attacks is a very good thing. We've then got Iron Moth. We've got a fire Pokemon here. They kind of look dual color, but they're not the right-hand side of the card is future. The ability Thermal Reactor, once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from the bench to the active, you may move any amount of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it, which is nice. We've then got free fire energy, 120, and it can't use it next turn. Yes, I know I said it wasn't good enough on Brute Bonnet, but here, because you can use the ability to move energy over to it, I actually like this one quite a bit more. And, you know, not for nothing, but we've got the Illustration Rare. Beautiful Illustration Rare. And like we said a minute ago, we're talking about the same card. There's nothing different about this. These are, you know, Illustration Rares as we've had for a while now, but this is still extremely cool. Oh, and then, of course, Iron Valiant EX. Roaring Moon was broken. Is this one broken? Well, once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Yes. This is actually genuinely legitimately ridiculously broken. We've all seen that extra damage is good. Being able to drop two damage counters on any of your opponent's Pokemon and the only downside is you've got to switch into the active. That's not a big downside. This is a ridiculous ability, which again, I expect to see a huge amount of play. Being able to switch into the active and drop two damage counters anywhere. This is a ridiculous ability. Uh, free energy 200 counter attack next turn is fine. It's not particularly great. It's not particularly terrible. It's all right. This is a card, though, that we're going to see played for the ability. Watch out if we ever get a tool that allows you to attack uh, retreat for free or maybe a stadium or something along those lines. It will make and there may well be one in the set because these types of Pokemon often have stuff like that. That will make it even more ridiculously broken. I think the EXs here are ridiculous, and I think there is a lot of potential here. Oh yeah, and A-Specs are back. A-Spec cards are returning to the game. Now look, we're going to have to talk about this more in a future video, but when we had A-Spec before, there were two that saw the most amount of play. They were Computer Search and they were Dowsing Machine. The thing you need to know about A-Spec cards is that you can have one of any type in your deck. Now, A-Specs previously were only trainer cards. They didn't exist other than as trainer cards. That doesn't mean that they won't this time, 
but it means that there is a very good chance that this will be the case again. Once again, this was a reveal video, but it was a little bit of a tease. These are from the black and white era. We know they're coming in 2024. We know they are Ace Specs. Last time round, Ace Specs were all trainer cards. So I think it's fair to say that they will be again. But that is not confirmed. That is not official. Computer search let you get two cards out of your hand, discard them and search for any card. Dowser Machine let you discard two cards from your hand to put a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand. They were both ridiculously broken. They were both crazy good. And they both saw a huge amount of play. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, Apex coming back is a big deal. I expected and predicted on this channel that we would see a, you know, a reveal of Paradox Pokemon. We got that. I did not see the return of Ace Specs. That was not on my bingo card. I did not expect that. And I love it. I am excited. I can't wait to see some in person. But I've got a staff party to go to. And yeah, I've told you everything there is to know. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you guys. I want to know all of your thoughts about this. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and, you know, generally just have an awesome fun time. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.